Alright, um, all right, so here we go. We're going to do number 12 on page 583. So, number 12, page 583. And it says, an isosceles right triangle has legs of length 3 radical 2. Alright, so we have an isosceles right triangle. And there we go. Bam, bam. Okay? So if it's an isosceles right triangle, what type of triangle is it? Do we know? Good. 45, 45, 90, where the legs are equal to x and the hypotenuse is equal to radical 2 times x. Okay? All right. So they tell us that the legs of the isosceles triangle equal 3 radical 2, so we're going to write that in. Now, this is one of the weird ones. So, do we have x here, guys? We do. And x, I'm talking about this x right there. And I'll just change my pen color for that. All right, so x is equal to 3 radical 2. And so, what do we have to multiply to get the hypotenuse here? Well, the hypotenuse, we have to take x, which we have here and multiply it by 3 radical 2. So we're going to have 3 radical 2, let's put hypotenuse, equals 3 radical 2 times radical 2. Does that make sense? Radical 2 times radical 2 equals radical 4. 3 radical 4. Radical 4 turns to 2, so it's 3 times 2. So go away. And then the hypotenuse is equal to 6. Does that make sense, everybody? It's an easy one, right? All right. Um, how do I stop this? Where did it go? Just like a... Hold on. I'm sorry. What was that? Let me... Okay. Because how did I do this? What's going on over there? How do I do redrag it? How do I make? How do I make this smaller? All right, everybody. So here we are on number five, page 580. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this thing up here. Down. Okay. Oops. Page 580. Go away. All right. So the directions ask to solve a right triangle. Oh, my gosh. Solve the right triangle. All right, so to solve our triangle, we've got to find all the sides and all the angles. Well, we don't really have any angles, do we? So let's get an angle first, okay? So let's put some letters here to just make it clearer for ourselves. So I have A, I got B, and I got C. Everybody see that? So let's see. The sine of angle C is equal to what? Oops, let's not do sine of angle C. Let's do the sine, oh that's right, I'm sorry. Sine of angle C, my fault. Equals what over what? Who knows? Six over seven point six. Good. Does that make sense? And in case you forgot, it's so ka toa. Okay. So now someone divides six by six seven point six. What do you get? Point what? Seven eight nine. So now I have sin angle C. We want to get angle C all uh, all by itself, so we divide by the sine. And what are we going to do to our calculators? Sine negative one. Sine negative one, and we're going to put in point seven eight nine. So just to let you know, we're going to do sin negative one point seven eight nine, and we find out that angle C equals 
52 degrees. So C is 52. Yes, Jordan. So you don't have an angle. Yep. When you need to find the angles, that's what you use. But angle A is pretty easy. What is angle A going to equal? Come on. 38. 38, right? Because all it's going to be is 90 plus 52 plus x equals 180, right? So that's okay to do on a test? Like yeah. Right. Any way you want, okay? And to find f, we don't even have to use any trig, do we? Right. x equals 38 here. And to find f, we can do it two ways, right? The easy way is to do what? Pythagorean theorem, 6 squared plus f squared equals 7.6 squared, right? That's the easy way. Let's do it a little more. Actually, it depends on how you think about it. I don't know. I think the trig way is the easy way, but... Um, so let's do it the trig way first, okay? So we're finding f. So to find f, we're going to... Now we know this angle is 38 degrees. We're going to find the... Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's do the cosine of 52 uh oh oh please no please no pause All right. so funny if the cosine of 52 is equal to what who can tell me six over nope it's not six yep good Does everybody see that all right, so now we need to turn this cosine. Somebody turn this into its uh, ratio. What is the cosine of 52? 0.61 equals F over 7.6. 6. 6. F over 7.6, then we go ahead and we cross multiply. Please remember to put the 0.6 on top. So we get F equals... 0.61 times 7.6, and what does that equal? What does it equal? 4.62? 4.63. Alright, good. So F up here, you can say, you can roughly say 5, or you can say, come on, man. What is going on? F equals Okay, so we're back and F equals four point six three. So F equals four point six three. Nah, you could say five, but for now, try to keep it close. Okay, so we're done.